Hey, what's up, you all? I'm your high-functioning autistic YouTuber, Dude4786. I have autism, video gamer, and vlogger. And here is some less terrible news for me to you. Um, in my previous video, I announced that I might have a heart problem. But it turns out that more than likely it may not even be that at all. That the problem that I have is only with my esophagus. Where food and water goes through. Because it doesn't make much sense that I drink water. Or eat food. And that be hurting my chest because of heart problems. The only It doesn't make much sense. Why would it hurt my heart? Because... Food and water doesn't go through the heart when you eat. It goes through the esophagus. But if something at the esophagus presses up again, if you have like a weakened esophagus, which usually happens due to like um, eating, it usually happens due to eating very extremely spicy foods or eating a lot of foods that causes acids to, you know, damage it. And I believe I know what caused that damage to my esophagus because I remember making a big giant pizza and that pizza, you know, had a lot of sauce and spices in it because it was customly made by me, of course. I like to put a lot, I like to eat a lot of spicy stuff. And as a result of that, it did some damage to my esophagus. I believe that's what happened. And, um, and they say that that stuff can actually weaken your esophagus. But however, I noticed that the, le the less I, the only time that my chest hurts is when I either drink or eat something. But if I'm doing something like walking or running or whatever, I'm perfectly fine. It's only up until the time I eat or consume something that my chest will start to hurt. Or the only time, another time my chest will start to hurt too, is when whatever I ate earlier starts to break down and the acids from it start to go up. So um, stomach acids could also irritate my chest, but that has nothing to do with my heart condition. A lot of that, again, has to do with my esophagus. So there could be some damage to my esophagus because... A reason, another logical explanation as to why that is, too, is because, I mean, I already had a hard enough time breathing because I'm overweight, but the condition I had developed just a few days ago, um, it did not affect my breathing at all. I'm still able to, you know, walk the same distance I always walk. I'm still able to breathe the same way I always breathe. My breathing not my breathing has not gotten any worse. Even though my breathing was not necessarily the best due to my weight, the condition I have developed has not worsened has not worsened my breathing. So therefore with that fact, with that fact being stated and that alone would tell you and end and dictate the fact that I have not my heart has not gotten any worse okay so it's not heart related issue that's the good thing it's just my esophagus because it's only when i consume or drink or when so something in my stomach's being broken down and acids start to irritate it so yeah so i don't i do not i did not develop any heart problem um and if it were cancer related to, it would not have gotten, the, the, the pain that I have developed would not have eased down. Because with cancer, and because I'm not getting treated, if, if even if it was cancer, the fact that I'm not getting treatment for it, it would not have eased it down. Cancer pains just don't ease down on their own. This one, the pain I have eased down a lot. There would be times I'd be eating and it didn't hurt. It never hurt as much as it did 
the past few days. It's, it, my esophagus is healing. I am getting better. And I should be... If I should, you know, I'm gonna get. A, I'm still gonna get a scan just to make sure, but I'm pretty damn sure, and I'm sticking with this belief that it's just my esophagus. I mean, I'm not just saying this just to make myself feel better because a lot of people will be in denial when they have a heart problem. They'll be in denial and tell themselves, "Oh, it's not my heart." No, I'm not in denial. I tr I actually feel like, and I do believe. What's up, man? That is just my esophagus. So I'm gonna go. I mean, it's like 10, a little bit after ten. I'm normally not a morning person. Should that should that thing alone again? Because I'm not much of a morning person, and now I am. Should tell you something that if my heart was getting any worse, then why would I be getting up earlier than usual? Why would I be going to bed earlier than usual? Why would I be why would my would my, why would my routine be more normalized than usual? See, I go to bed around ten, eleven ish. Get up around four or five o'clock in the morning, and then go back to bed. Get up at ten, and uh, yeah, I I am actually my my sleeping habits have become more normalized because usually my sleeping habits are terrible. I'll be up all night. And then sleep all day up to like late afternoon. Just to have enough time to get dressed, get a shower and go to work. But that, that has not been the case recently. So I feel like... I feel like I'm getting better. You know, I'm about to go out for a walk. Yeah. I just had some beers, and I just had some fried foods last night, because I got spoiled. But I was able to eat that last night, and I had very little pain in my chest, but that has nothing to do with my heart. That was my esophagus. And, like, yeah, so I'm doing all right. But uh, yeah, I was a little worried, and the stress of thinking about it only made it made me feel a little bit more pain. And usually, when you're active and and worried, usually that causes your body to break down more stuff. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm I'm, told, I mean, I'm, I'm fine, y'all. It's nothing because if this was a serious condition, if this was a condition like cancer. It would not have eased into that. The pain would have not, would not have eased down on its own. So I know for a damn fact. I know myself better than anybody. Only I know how I feel. So if anybody tells me otherwise, uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. Because I, I know me. I, I This is my body. I know what I'm feeling. You don't know what I'm feeling. So don't tell me what I'm feeling. And I hate when people tell me that, oh, you're in denial, Chris. Oh, I'm not in denial. I know what I'm feeling. You're not me. How the fuck do you know what I'm feeling? So, you know, you're going to consistently tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. You need to shut your fucking mouth, for one. Shut the fuck up. You're not me. How can you possibly know what I feel? You're not me. I am me. This is my body. Understand that? I know how I fucking feel. I know what I need when I need it. I know what I want when I want when I really, really want. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to zig zig. Ah, motherfucker. Okay. Anyways, um, just doing what you want, what you really, 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 really want. Right? I want to zig zig. Ah. Mm -hmm. Right? All jokes aside, though. Yeah. I know who I am, and your and your approval is not needed. As arrogant as that may sound, it's true. Um, I am who I choose to be. I know how I feel. Only I can help me. 
and only I can ask for help. And only I know what it is that I need to do to make me happy or to make myself feel better. And if I got to go to the doctors to get a CAT scan, that's on me, right? If other people can't make me do it. I got to be the one to choose to do it. It's my call. And I'm going to go get that CAT scan. I'm going to find out. I'm not going to sit here and just claim to the, you know, even though I may have said that, oh, you know what? I know what I am. No. Well, I'm going to just let you all know that I'm feeling A-OK -okay and that uh, I'm going to be posting more videos. So peace out.